Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. Ooh, man, that was a good shot right there. And that's a solid unit to be losing down on right there. Wow. Sacred Band getting murdered right now. But all right, guys, welcome back to the Land of Sieges. Joe Warner coming in with another battle replay here on Total War Rome 2. We do have a 3v3 siege here on the settlement of Carthage. Uh, three defending factions are Kush. Whoa, 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 what is that over there? Oh, my God. We got some ambushers out here from Mycenae already doing work. Did they just get rid of the artillery? No, there's still mm, there's still enough. Oh, we got some Tarantine cavalry coming out as well. What is over here? Two units of Precapes? Oh, Legion Care Cohort and a Precape unit. They should be able to wipe up those ambushers, but wow. Didn't even see them show up there. Solid. Awesome. Ambushers. Good stuff. All right, so yeah, we'll take a look at the defenders. We do have Kush here being commanded by Dodgy Gob, who is a Twitch guy. I will make sure to have his link down in the description below. Then we have Bowie Eye here being commanded by Pray to Me. And then finally, Iceni being commanded by Jedi Revan. Getting out on the attacker side. That ambushes. Yeah, ambushes are pretty much being tidied up now. 31 kills for that unit, 12 for the other. Eesh. I mean, they did work though, but I think that ballista crew is going to end up coming back. It is possible. It was a strong possibility that they end up coming back. But all right, let's take a look at the attackers. We do have Rome here being commanded by Arth. And he has brought five units of the Praetorian Guard. Five Praetorian Guard. Oh my God. I don't even want to know what the funds were. Five Praetorian Guard, four units of Princapes, four Legionnaire Cohort. His general is a unit of the General's Bodyguard. He also has a unit of the Socia Equites or Saki Equites. I'm not sure. People keep telling me to say them differently every single time. Uh, he also has three units of the Syrian Archers and one unit of the Balearic Slingers. Moving over to his first ally here, we do have Macedon being commanded by Aruis. He has brought eight units of the Thorax Swordsman, three shield bearers, one of those being his general. Interesting cho choice for the ger for general here. Shield bearer general on attack. That's, I'm, gonna see, I'm, I'm interested to see how well that works out. Uh, he also has two units of the Royal Peltast, one Thoreo Spear. He has a giant ballista right there. Three Cretan archers, one unit of Peltas, and he does have a Tarantine cavalry, which, I don't know, maybe there wasn't a rule on ranged. It's usually ranged cavalry. Oh. Kush coming out? Oh my god. Kush army coming outside. What is going on here? Oh my god. Is that the entire Kush army? I think it is. Holy crap. Alright, uh, final attacking army real quick as we see Kush coming out over there. Final attacking army on the, on the battlefield. We have Ellis commanding Carthage. And he has brought six units of the Libyan infantry. Three Samnite warriors. Two noble fighters. Two African pikemen. One late Carthaginian hoplite. One sacred band. His general is actually a powerful, powerful general. He brought a noble cav general. Very solid. Uh, he also has brought with him three Cretan archers and one Balearic slinger. But yeah, Kush is just coming out. My god, are they just going to charge right over into Rome? It looks like they're going to. Let's see what he's got. One, two, three, four, five, six units of Kushite slave infantry. One, two, three, four, five, six... Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Did he bring... I don't think he brought any archers. Doesn't look like he brought any archers. Let's see what he's got here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Shotel Warriors. No armored Shotel Warriors? Interesting. Very interesting. All right. Well, we do have some walls coming down here from Macedon. They are getting rid of a wall artillery right there. I'm pretty sure that was the... Yeah, that was the Bowie I one. Kush is still here, 133 kills for his wall artillery. Ballista there for Iceni. Looks like they... Nope, they're out of ammo. Out of ammunition, unfortunately only 54 kills, but Rome is going in on Kush, boys. Kush is going to return the charge. Oh, man. Those Shotels better get up there and help these uh, Kushite slave infantry out. I mean, wow, actually, look at that. A lot of funds dropped into these Kushite slave infantry, boys. And the Cav is around. He's going to come around, get a charge in onto the back of these Prinkapes. 
some of the Legionnaire cohort. Legionnaire cohort currently losing combat to Kushite slave infantry. I guess those triple triple silver chevrons are actually uh, pretty solid to use there. What's going on over here? Nothing really. Uh, actually, it looks like we're going to get a unit of Sacred Band for Carthage. Going to make their way inside the settlement. We do see some of the sword followers here. We have some regular sword band there for Iceni. Some of the Britain Slingers, another unit of the sword followers there. But artillery now being fired by Macedon. Is that Macedon artillery? Not sure. I think that is. I think that was the Macedon artillery firing over in this direction. So, so far, Kush's front line doing a pretty solid job. Kush had slave infantry there with 32 kills. Legionnaire cohort now having to deal with the Shotel Warriors as well. This would have been a perfect opportunity. I think this should have been timed a little bit better here. Because if Iceni had held on to his, arm, his artillery, look at the kills he could have gotten. Yeah, he could have definitely wiped up uh, this Roman force pretty easily. Iceni is getting some of his slingers up on the walls here, though. So that's definitely going to be a helpful hand. Shkoshite slave infantry starting to get beaten here in the center, though. Brutal, brutal fighting. I guess we're going to see who's better, Rome or Kush, out here. Oh, wait, Macedon's coming over there. Macedon is on their way over to help out. Actually, Carthage is making their way over here now as well. So, no press into the settlement just yet. Going to have a lot of fighting going on over here. And, oh, Rome's getting behind the lines. Social Equite was beaten up on this Kushite Royal Guard general. Archer Fire now coming in as well. Here comes that Carthage general. He's going to come around the corner. Oh, I think that Kush general is going to get murdered. Right flank here is starting to fall. Big charge. A little bit of a javelin volley. Killed four. Big charge into those Shoto Warriors, though. I think the Kush General is going to try and run. Is he going to run? Nope. He's going to stay there. He is going to try and stay and hang around. And the Kush General... Not Kush General. Sorry. Carthage General now just going to make his way across. Yeah, starting to get some really good charges. So this Kush front line has now shattered. Pretty much completely shattered. I... I, I think that was the entire Kush force that came out here. He's kind of being triple teamed right now. Kind of. Kind of. Nah. I don't know. Noble Gen now making his way around. And here comes some charges. Yep. They're going to hammer. Oh, my God. So nasty. Well, this is one of the, uh, one of the cons of, of being a sally out with your whole army is that you could end up losing it. The attackers now making their way in. We do have some Thorax making their way up. Probably going to drop this tower off. Probably try and clear out some of these uh, slingers. We actually have, what is this? Unit of Libyan infantry. Looks like they went inside. Did they go inside? Uh, I don't really know. They got ripped apart right here, though. Must have been something up on the walls there. So Rome is doing it. Yeah, Kush is pretty much gone. Kush is pretty much going to be gone. I mean, he's got a lot of Chotel still out here, though. Pretty solid Chotel warrior unit. So maybe this Carthage general might want to get out of there. Because he is now losing badly. Only 121 kills with this noble calf. And his general's dead. So Carthage general is going to be surrounded and removed. Probably murdered as well. Is the general dead? Yes, he is. So Carthage now is going to be suffering a bit of a uh, morale penalty for the rest of this battle, being that their general died pretty quickly. Pretty fast into this battle. Confident general dead. Yeah, that is not going to be a good sign for Carthage for the rest of this battle, but we'll have to see how he's going to be able to uh, maintain the rest of this time. Those look like Carthage is... Yeah, they're on the winning side right now. It looks like Carthage... Uh, nope, Kush still has archers. No, he's got his archers inside. Two, three, four units of Royal Kushite archers. So his army is gone. Aside of his general and his four units of archers. 
And I don't really think he did a whole lot of damage. In total, I don't think he did. How many Prinkopays did he start with? Four, right? He had four units of Prinkopays. Four Legionnaire Cohort. Actually sent a unit of Praetorians up there. Let's see what he's got. One. Two. Three. Three units of Prinkopays. He's bringing his Praetorians back. So he lost a little bit. He lost it a little bit. He lost a unit of Prinkopays. His Legionnaire Cohort kind of got beaten up a little bit. But still a very solid army left over here for Rome. He didn't lose any of those Praetorians. I mean, he lost a couple of men out of the units, I'll say that. But he didn't lose any of the actual Praetorian units. So, that's... Mm, that is going to be rough. That is definitely going to be rough. Now it has basically become a 3v2 for the defenders to have to deal with. And we're only about mm, 11 minutes into the battle, guys. So, this is going to be a tough... Tough fight. Mastodon up on the walls here. Some Thorax in there fighting out some of these sword band. They are taking a lot of archer fire though. So Kush is actually using his archers now as well. I mean, these Thorax could easily get wrecked by these sword followers. So, I mean... Yeah, just... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, everybody plays differently. Oh, what is that? Is that a scorpion? Oh my god. Oh, yeah, I brought a scorpion on defense. So he had a wall artillery and a scorpion? What? Yeah, he did. He had a wall artillery and a scorpion. Wow. All right. Again, I, okay. I guess I don't know what the rules were in this. Not, not the standard one, two, four, I guess. But Kush Archers now making their way forward again here. Zero and zero. The other two units were still standing up over there. So Ballista here, 24 kills. I'm not sure exactly what he's firing at. Is he firing at the Thorax here, I guess? I don't know. Thorax winning the wall combat up there, but they're going to lose. They're going to lose down here. Sword followers are going to wreck these Thorax. Completely annihilate them. These attackers need to get some more stuff in here. Attackers definitely need to get some more stuff. Here we go. Some more Thorax making their way in. Sword Follower is going to charge in onto them. Yeah, they are. Archer fire coming in. Why did that look like the Archer fire is hitting the back of the... Oh, it is. They're getting a little bit of, fr a little bit of friendly fire. A little bit of friendly fire. Might be a little bit better off for these Mastodon archers to kind of move over here if they really want to get some good shots. Or they actually could try and overpower all of the Royal Kushite archers right there. If the Cretans and the Syrians moved up closer to the wall, they should be able to either push them back or at least get some really good kills on those Kushite archers just to get rid of them. Second unit of Thorax now coming in, beating up Thorax. But coming in on the flank of that sword follower. Sword follower needs to pull back. Needs to pull back a little bit. Reform. Or this sword follower unit here could easily just stand right over here. Get some good javelin volleys in. Probably knock the crap out of that thorax swordsman unit. Help this first unit out. But yeah, this unit here. Going to be able to do some really good work. Sword band up on the wall there for Iceni. Carthage now swinging the mainstay of his army back around. Over here to where he initially started. Artillery fire now coming. Is that... Uh, who's that firing? That's got to be Macedon. No, Ma yeah, Macedon's fire. What? Uh, it just said the Macedon crew was firing. I don't see the crew, though. Oh, there they are. Why is the Macedon crew all the way over here? Who was here? Wait a second. What did I miss here? Did I miss something? Macedon brought his giant artillery. Who else had an artillery? Hmm. That's the Macedon artillery. Did he? No. He didn't have two. Did he? Oh, here comes the Kush General. I'm not sure exactly what he's planning on doing. Down to 15 men left in the unit. But all right. Carthage now making their way inside the settlement. Some Sacred Band going to take on the Sword Followers. Sacred Band probably not going to do a whole lot. 
I might be able to get some good kills on these sword followers, though, but... Definitely needs to get some more. Oh, he's got, he's got a unit of the Libyan infantry going to charge in on the backs. Okay, there you go. That's good stuff. Maybe take the sacred band out of there now. Let the Libyans and the and the sword followers fight. Back over here, Macedon and Rome still bringing more of their units inside. Sword follower unit over here now getting destroyed. Oh, they're getting shot in the back. They're getting shot in the back. Yeah, those sword followers definitely were just getting fired in the back. You can see it right there, Peltas. You know, Cretan archers. Cretan archers firing right into the back of them. They're actually getting shots over here now into the sword band as well. Chosen sword band. So, so far, like I said, Boia, yeah, these sword followers did a great job holding this front line. 139 kills. Only lost 26 men. Whew, nasty. Up on the wall here, we have some regular sword band taking on these thorax swordsmen up on the wall. Mastodon and Iceni fighting each other. Unit still shifting around. I think this is going to be the end of that. Yeah, that Thor, that sword follower unit is going to end up being lost. 139 kills, not terrible. Moving on to the next line, we have some chosen sword band there for Iceni. Are they just going to hang out? Looks like they're going to hang out, take some javelin volleys, throw those spears, throw it into that chosen sword band. Oh no, 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 wait, are they firing at these? They're firing at the flank of the sword followers. Yeah, they are. Oh yeah, they definitely are. Getting some good shots in there. 30 kills for them. Nice, nice, nice. Some more of the Roman units actually moving over here. And ooh, that was close. Some of them kind of getting around the flank a little bit here. I don't know how this unit got around. How did this unit get over here? What the heck? How did you squeak? Where did you? Unless they came all the way around this way to came in here. Because this, yeah, this Roman unit's kind of. I think that Roman unit kind of pushed through on that sword follower unit a little bit. A little bit. But, I mean, they're going to have to run it. Yeah, they're running into sword followers. And that's a really beaten up unit of Legionnaire cohort, so they're not going to be able to last very long. See, this first unit just got destroyed. Yeah, these sword followers, they're going to get a lot. Going to finish off that cohort unit. Another unit of cohort coming around, or is that Prinkapes? Prinkapes making their way around. Carthage now sending some more of their Libyan infantry in. Slingers up on the wall, 96 kills. They should still have some more arrows, some uh, more stones left, but we do have some Cretan archers out here. Two units of the Cretan archers for Carthage getting some fire up, or this one out. Yeah, no, they're firing. Firing up, getting some really good side flanking shots in onto those slingers, and they're going to be removed. Libyan infantry now charging up into the sword followers. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to send another unit up there to try and help break through those sword followers real quick. So I don't think the Libyan infantry is really going to fare very well. At least one unit isn't really going to do very well along with the arrow tower firing down. Prinkapé is making their way up over there. That might be able to help a little bit. Still back over on this side though. Defenders doing a fantastic job. Kush uh, General still just running around out here. Yeah, he's still kind of just running around. 32 kills, still only has 15 men, so he hasn't done much of anything. Tarantine Cavalry pulling away. The 152 kills for that Tarantine Cavalry. Are they out of their javelins? Yeah, they are. So this is now just straight up melee cavalry. Not the greatest of stats, but it's still a it's still a cavalry unit. Actually, yeah, mm, eh, not bad. Not bad, actually. I was looking at the, the ballista crew there. 20, 24, 38, 60. Pretty solid. They could definitely get some good damage, good damage done. Back inside the settlement here, though, we do have some, ooh, some Cretan archers getting eerily close to the front line here. Definitely don't want to see that. I want to get those Cretans back out of there. They are really close to that front line. This thorax swordsman not looking too solid.
Some more archers making their way around here. The Cretan archers for Carthage making their way around. Going to back up Macedon. Are these, they must be out of ammo. I hope they're out of ammo. I mean, 66 kills. I hope they're not out of ammo, but now stuck in melee getting cut up by a unit of sword followers. I hope they are out of ammo. Oh, they're running. They're they're running away, so they are definitely not out of ammunition. He's trying to run them away now. Let's see. Does that bow immediately pop right back out? No, not yet. Not yet. They've got to still have ammo, though. For how quickly he ran them out of there, I guess that must have just been a misclick. Happens a lot, guys. It really does happen a lot, but, I mean, again, uh, suggestion, guard mode on your archers, on your ranged units. Never a bad idea. So Pinker Pay is now coming in on the flank of the sword followers. Chosen sword band still holding as best as they can, taking on some shield bearers. But oh my god, nice, nicely timed volley coming in there from uh, I'm gonna guess that was the Syrians. Yeah. Yeah, Syrians? Or Cretans, one or the other. I mean they're all right here. Syrians and Cretans right there for Macedon and Rome. Good, good, well timed volleys coming in though. Breaking that unit of sword followers, routing the unit of sword followers, breaking the unit of chosen sword band. We have some painted ones up on the front line here, though. Not a whole lot of armor. They will be able to suffice long enough to be able to do some damage as hopefully some more infantry makes their way around. We do have some more chosen sword band. Another unit of the sword followers right there for Bowie Eye. Currently, that unit looks like they're fighting that Thorax Swordsman up on the wall, though. Doing a pretty solid job. 49 kills to this point. Carthage is really starting to mow through over here, though. Doing a pretty good job. I think that was another unit. That looked like Celtic Warriors sitting back up over here for Bowie Eye. We'll end up having to see what that is. Cush's archers are still moving around over here, though. 62-2. Two. Does that unit only have two kills? All right, two kills, one and 44. So a decent amount of ammo is still left here for Cush. Again, those are his final four units. Again, back at the beginning, um, Cush did sally out his pretty much his entire army. Sands his four units of archers. Uh... But, yeah, they pretty much got run over. Rome and Macedon. For the most part, it was Rome and Macedon um, coming over here and pretty much dispatching the uh, the Kush force. Got some ooh, Osworn. I'm going to guess he's got an Osworn general as well for Bowie Eye. That would just be an, autom uh, an automatic assumption. But sometimes they bring Noble Cav. Or the uh, Noble Cav, right? I think that's what they're called. I don't know. They're one of my favorite factions. I can never remember. <laughs> I think it's Noble Cavalry, though. But artillery now coming in again. Macedon getting some good shots. 65 kills coming in with that giant ballista. Looks like they're firing up on the hilltop here. Let's see. We're going to get another volley coming in. Yep, here it comes. Let's see. Where's that going? Trying to get up on the hill. Trying to get up on the hill? Maybe? Or he's firing down over here. I'm not sure. Exactly. A uh, little tip for you guys, in case you did not know, you can set artillery to have an auto fire. Basically, so you you would left alt and right click, a little target will show up on the ground, and that will uh, fire in that direction. Oh my God! Close, close. Didn't get anybody. Close though. Really close. Let's see. Did he get any more? Last time we saw 65. Still 65. Okay. But yeah, a little tip there. If you want to bombard with your with your giant artillery you can just right click in an area and it will fire there but good shot there there you go making some contact with these royal kushite archers up to 69 giggity 69 kills nice oh the giant ballista for rome they're coming back okay that's right that's right that's right now I remember so this was the roman artillery macedon's artillery was over here now Rome is coming back because of that sally out of, well, not sally out, because of the ambusher strike, the Roman ballista crew is now finally making their way back up over here. Back inside the settlement, though, we do have the Libyan infantry from Carthage still pushing forward into these chosen sword band for Iacini. In the background there, you can see oh, that was a nice little volley coming in there. Archer fire as well, starting to come around. See those royal archers in the background volleying out and taking volleys back in. Oh, wow, that was a nice little rip. That was a nice little rip. Yep, definitely some of them are lit on fire there. Still doing a pretty good job. 
with that ballista. Let's see what he's up to now. 99 kills now. And the Roman ballista crew is still getting up here. Now, I wonder where they... Are they going to come here? They, sh I mean, they should still have ammo. They have zero kills. So hopefully they end up, uh, you know, employing them either there or bring them back over onto the original artillery installation. That would definitely be extremely beneficial for the attackers. Back over here, another unit of Painted Ones, fresh unit of Painted Ones coming in, taking on this Libyan Infantry unit. Right behind them, a unit of Celtic Warriors for Bowie I making their way forward. Just going to continue trying to keep this gate neutralized. Painted Ones not going to fall back, and I'm waiting for the Javelin Volley. Oh, God. Don't charge forward. There you go. Nice, nice, nice Javelin Volley there from the Libyan Infantry. But hopefully he doesn't move forward, because if he does, he's going to die. Please don't move forward. Stay right there. Just keep it blocked off. Maybe, maybe move a little, a little forward. Maybe a little forward just to get that unit right inside the line to keep this post neutralized. Because right now you can see the defenders are recapturing this gate. So they're going to have the towers again firing for Carthage. Beneficial thing for him to do would be, like I said, just to move up just, just inside that circle to keep it neutralized. But now the defenders have it controlled again. So the archer towers, the arrow towers are going to start firing. Here comes those Celtic warriors charging down. Going to keep that Libyan infantry unit out of that circle. So they won't be able to... Not yet. They won't be able to win it back yet. What do we have coming up? Another unit coming up. The Rayo Spears making their way up. 74 kills for them. Not too bad. Back over here in the middle though. It does look like Macedon and Rome are starting to make their way through. We have a unit of, of the uh, Lee Carthaginian Hoplites hanging out right there. Looks like they were getting ready to come in. They do have 30 losses in the unit, 24 kills. Here comes a unit of Praetorian Guard as well. What do we actually have in here? It's the Praetorians already. Praetorian Guard in here for Rome already. Still got three more units outside. The Ballista crew still coming around. I don't know why... Did they... F they I mean, what did they shoot at? They didn't have time to shoot at anything. I wonder why the Romans are not getting back onto a ballista somewhere. This would be a really good ballista to use because they'd be able to get some really good shots up onto this up onto this hill right there. Speaking of shots, though, we do have some of the Cretan archers here for Carthage getting some good volleys up onto that hilltop, pushing back some of the Chosen Sword Band. Probably going to try and get some kills onto those Celtic warriors as well. All right, guys, we're about... Uh, roughly about a half an hour into the battle replay, so I'm going to say if you are enjoying the content, please make sure to hit that like button, drop a comment down below, share the content around as well, share my channel around. I would really appreciate any sort of assistance, you know, trying to get more uh, more noticed on uh, on YouTube, beat the uh, or fight against the uh, YouTube algorithm monster. Um, and also, if you are new to the channel, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. That would definitely, obviously, help out as well. Thought he might have been able to get a kill on that uh, Praetorian Guard. So, all right. Looks like the attackers have now finally broken through these front line. Uh, final units of Kush there are now being removed from the battlefield. So, very unfortunate to see Kush. I mean, like I said, Kush initially coming out over here. It was a good distraction, but he sent... It looked like he sent his whole army out there. Aside of his four archers and his general. Not sure exactly where his general went. There was only 15 of them left in the unit, though. So, not, might not be able to do a whole lot of damage. We'll end up having to see what they're going to be able to do, though. But Carthage still plugging away up over here. Mastodon did get the unit of Toreo Spears pushed in. We have some Cretan archers. I'm sorry, Syrian archers right there. 177 kills. Very well done with those Syrians. Looks like they're going to be the next unit to get charged in here. 
We have some more Libyan. Oh, Sam Knights. Sam Knight Warriors right there, ready to go. They are ready to get into that fight. Look at those stoic faces. My God, look at this dude right there. He hasn't broken contact once. Just staring up there, looking at those defending units. Ooh, he is ready to go. There they go. They are going to charge in here in front of the Syrians. Here they go. Make their way into this Bowie Eye front line again. Sam Knights. Ooh, nasty. Nasty unit. All right, back over here in the center. Actually, yeah, Carthage is still pressing forward over here. Some Celtic Warriors for Bowie Eye. Another unit of the Chosen Sword Band has moved forward. So the defenders still trying their best to hold this hilltop. Still have some more. Ar oh, actually, Archer's right there getting some good shots. They're firing at the Syrians up on the wall over here. 60 kills, already under 100 men. I think they have two units firing at them, though. Yeah, they have a cro the two units of Kushite Archers. I believe two units of Kushite Archers are firing at them. Yeah, yep, they're firing. Both units are firing up at the one Syrian. And then right here, we had some javelin volleys coming from the Chosen Sword Band firing into this Praetorian Guards, currently taking on the Celtic Warriors there at the top of the staircase. Chosen sword man charging in there. Going to help these Celtic warriors still hold this front line. All right. Royal Peltas have now moved up. There's the Kush general. Still 15. Oh, 14. He actually lost another man somewhere. Not sure exactly where he lost it. It's Kush had archers making their way around. 216 kills. Very solid job with the archers. 130. 151 now. What are they firing at? What are they firing at? Let's see. Oh, they're just firing straight down over here. All these Cretans and Syrians making their way across. Getting dropped pretty good. 39 kills for that unit, yeah. Carthage Archer's not doing very well. Just yet. Just yet. They may end up doing a little bit better. Sam Knight's over here still fighting away. 27 kills so far. Sword Followers and that Celtic Warrior unit. I think that's a fresher unit. Yeah, fresher unit. You can see the numbers there. Oh, I see you bringing up more guys. Got some Britain Slingers there. Another unit of Painted Ones. These guys are really scary. Aside of their armor not being very good, Painted Ones really are very good. Melee Defense 56. Charge Bonus 37. Melee Attack 37. Weapon Damage 25. And they do have a Frenzy and a Scare. So they are really, really good. They just need to be used at the right time. Because of that armor, they can get shredded very, very quickly by Archers. Like we saw that first unit back over here get completely annihilated by that Front Breach. Shieldbearer General for Macedon inside for the unit of Shieldbearers. Here comes Royal Peltas now charging in. Going to back up these uh, Sam Knights. I would say maybe the Sam Knights can pull out now. I mean, they're only winded, but still too many units stacked up in one spot. Royal Peltas should be able to do some pretty good damage against these Celtic Warriors and these Sword Followers. Celtic Warriors now starting to waver. Yeah, these Sam Knights, I, could say, I would say that the Sam Knights could pull back out now. Not sure why the Royal Peltas went into shield wall right there. Let's... Just zooming in here real quick just to see because sometimes, guys, uh, when you put units into shield wall after they've already been in contact, say that Royal Peltas unit was fighting these Celtic warriors, when you put them into shield wall, it can actually help push or pull the unit through as they're forming into shield wall. So but it doesn't look like that's actually what's going on. So maybe these Royal Peltas did in fact charge the sword followers. 
So that's just I'm just I'm not saying that again against the Macedon player. I'm just saying that for you guys for further knowledge, future re future reference or whatever, you can pull through using Shield Wall. I've seen it happen many many times uh, during my live streams and during other battle replays and stuff like that. It can happen. It's uh, accidental. Most of the time, it's accidental. But I've also seen people doing it, which could be viewed as on purpose just because of how it worked out or how it ended up working out for that unit. But all right. Painted One's now charging in here. I'm going to back up this unit of sword followers. Royal Peltas starting to churn away there. They've actually lost 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 men now. Only 30 kills. The Sam Knight's still in there. Down to 108 with 52 kills. So they've lost the same... Yeah, they've uh, now 53 kills. 53 kills, 53 loss. That's amazing. Good KD, perfect zero. Back over on this side. Let's see how Rome and Carthage are doing. Really still trying to make their way through this Celtic Warriors. Going to burn down this final unit of Kushite archers there. Unit of the Auxiliary Syrian archers. Only 59 kills, and they are out of here. But here comes that Praetorian Guard. Nope, they're pulling back. Sam Knights. Yep, Sam Knights going to charge in again over here. Really interested to see where the Bowie Eye General is and what he chose. I'm going to guess that he took a, a uh, Osworn General, though. That's just a guess. I mean, everybody plays differently, but that's just a guess on my part. Most of the time, you'll see Bowie Eye with an Osworn General. Same with, like, Arverni, Nervi Eye, stuff like that. Sworn coming in. Here we go. First unit of Osworn coming in, challenging the unit of Sam Knight Warriors. Carthaginian hoplites right there on the flank. Headhunt has been activated there for the Osworn. They should be able to start chewing these Sam Knights up. I mean, Sam Knights aren't. I'm not saying Sam Knights are bad. I'm just saying Osworn are better. Syrians now coming in to join the fight there for Rome, sending in a unit of out of ammunition archers again, but only 94 kills. Osworn are still doing, wow, look at how good they're doing. They've lost four men, 28 kills. Very well done so far. Very well done so far. Back over here, Bowie, I, I see he's still holding. I see he's still holding here, taking on a unit of shield bearers. Shield bearers trying to press into these heroic nobles, though. Looks like we have some good archer fire. Yeah, Cretan archers getting some good shots. Balearic slingers as well. Firing up over breaking unit of painted ones. Only 71 kills. Ouch. These Britain slingers need to start firing back. They need to start firing back like right now. Trying to do damage to something. Balearic's pulling back. 51 kills. Cretans have moved forward. 59 kills. And that, yeah, they're going to start firing immediately into those slingers. 
Slingers are just standing there, unfortunately. I mean, they still they definitely still have ammunition left. But they're just going to get murdered. God. Two perfect headshots. That guy got shot in the head. That guy got shot in the head. Yeah, now the Slingers are going to pull back. They're Actually, they're routing. They're not even getting pulled back. They're routing and they're broken now. Gone. Only 12 kills. Ouch. That is... That's rough. That is definitely a rough situation right there. These Slingers have ammo? Nope, they're out. 115 kills. Uh-huh. O sworn general. That's an O sworn general. It's got to be. Heroic noble general over here for Iceni. O sworn still holding this front line. Are they still fighting the Sam Knights? They are. Sam Knights are actually starting to get shot. I think that's the Celtic, the Celtic Bowman. Yeah, Celtic Bowman from Bowie Eye starting to get some shots here now. Helping the Osworn out. Completely exhausted unit of Osworn. I want to switch them out. Bring that unit in. Pull this unit back. Might not be a bad idea. Maybe after the Sam Knights get burned down, he can send that second unit in to crush in against that unit of Lake Carthaginian Hoplites. But they're all going to have to deal with this. Two units of Praetorian Guard. Healthy units. Yeah, fully healthy units. Well... Six out of that unit, but still healthy units of Praetorian Guard right there. There's another unit of Praetorian here in the center, so he's got one, two, three. Three units of Praetorians left. Wow, he's lost two full units of Praetorians. I wonder how well they did. That's Syrian archers. Syrian archers. Yeah, we're going to have to wait till the end to see how, how the Praetorians did. You can see the amount of destruction that already took place. Well, and that was within the first, like, 11, 12 minutes of the battle. Massive amount of death outside of the settlement. Inside of the settlement, bodies being littered all around this front corner. The front part of the walls, I should say. Yeah, pull back. African pikemen. Oh, no. They're getting shot in the back. Yeah, they're gone. That unit's going to die. Javelin volley's coming in. Now the heroic nobles charge there. They're broken. Oh, my God. What do we have coming up? What is that? Is that the hero? Is that a shield bearer? Shield bearer unit making their way forward. Some of them getting cut off though. The Royal Peltas kind of getting in the way of that uh, shield bearer charge. Twenty-eight bonus, twenty-eight charge bonus. Not terrible for a spear unit. They're going to definitely do a lot of damage to those heroic nobles though. Coming to join in. Looks like, yeah, Bowie I send in the unit. Celtic Warriors back into the combat to try and help. Chosen Swordman right there. So that unit of Heroic Nobles breaking. 108 kills. Hmm. Usually like to see Heroic Nobles with a little bit more kills than that. But, oh, Cavalry coming in through the center. Tarantine Cavalry. I think the Roman General's charging in right behind him. Yes, he is. That Tarantine Cavalry coming right in there. Getting a big charge in. The Heroic Noble General in the center, both. Oh, actually, no, it's just one Heroic. This is a Chosen Sword Band. Your fire still going back. Celtic Bowman. All right. As you say. Not sure exactly where they're firing. Are they firing it out to the back of the pill? Oh, uh, no, they're not. I mean, that might be a really good target for them to fire at. Just shoot into the backs of those Praetorians trying to burn them down. They are firing down over here. Oh, my God. Do these Cretans have a lot? Not really. Probably not. That unit might. 70 kills for that unit. 129, 140 now for this unit. We still do have that unit of Peltast there, but they have 101 kills. They're probably out. Yeah, they are out. 
Another unit of the Praetorian Guard just waiting for this opportunity. Waiting for this open up, and it's going to be soon. This, uh, yeah, once this, once this, uh, who is that? Which unit is that? Chosen Swordman, and they're on their way out soon. Yeah, losing combat, losing, losing decisively. The Asini General here still holding as best as he can, but they are fighting some pretty solid units. Sam Knights, Shield Bearers, Thorax Swordsmen, Praetorian Guard. Definitely a tough, tough fight right there. But this is going to fall soon. I mean, they still have the Osworn General right there, so there is something immediately that Bowie I can stick right in there to try and help hold. But it's starting to break on this side as well. Britain Slinger's about to fall. This is going to be open. Well, I mean, they still actually... No, the Heroic Nobles are pressed out. Okay, so this line... Uh, now I see it. This is the Heroic Nobles. This is the Chosen Sword Band. Okay. Now I see where everything is. Tarantine Cavalry just stuck in the melee there. I'm not sure why he's leaving them in melee. I would have pulled them back out. Because cavalry inside a settlement is definitely a good thing to have, especially if you're on attack. I mean, either side attack or defense, but it's still a good thing to have. Uh, yes, this unit of Praetorian Guard could absolutely come right through there now, but he's just going to charge them straight into melee. He could have easily gotten them through that line, gotten them into those heroic nobles. Let's see, is this still firing? 101 kills. They still have ammo, and the slingers there are tossing. Let's see what they are at. 41 kills so far. They are just on, I think they're just on auto fire. Looks like they're on auto fire. Yeah, the whole unit is firing, but you did see like one or two guys. Yeah, here and there, one or two guys shooting. So, I mean, they're just on auto fire there. Carthage now shifting his archers back around again. Let's see, 170, 160, 90. Uh, African Pikeman unit. That's an African Pikeman. Oh, there's his other Cretan. His other, yeah, Cretan right there. 111 there. Macedonian, Macedonian Cretan archer there starting to get some good shots. 88 kills. Roman general still kind of just hanging out over there. Back over here, did he bring up? Yes, he did. Second unit of Osworn have now come up over here. 150 for that first unit, 52 here for the second. Right behind them, we have another unit of the Celtic Bowmen sitting just hanging out there. But this pretty much right here is where the main fight is. I mean, there's fights on three fronts. All three of these choke points are being fought over right now. But this is the main fight right here. Falling back, or did they route? Nope. Well, that's Thorax Swordsman that routed. Okay. Sam Knights routed 199 kills. Thorax routing there with only 93 kills. Oh, man. Oh, the Bowie Eye General actually came. Oh, the Bowie Eye General actually came around. Secured in behind these noble fighters and the unit of Praetorian Guard. Cut off. What is this? Oh, Roman General charging in. See, the Roman General right here could slip right through this gap. Right there. This is exactly where the Roman General wants to go. Right there, through here. Get around, get into the Heroic Nobles. Come around, break into these archers. Come down and around, smash into the back of these Osworn. That's where that Roman General wants to go. That's exactly where that Roman General wants to go right now. Hit this gap. Here comes some pikemen now. Okay. All right. Making more of a gap here. You can, I mean, see the look at the size of the hole right here. This is a, this is open. That cavalry could definitely come right through there. Pike's now starting to get shot, though. Might want to move them forward. Get them into melee. Starting to lose some men. Starting to lose some men. There you go. Now the pike. There you go. Go. There goes that Roman general. He's going to get right into these archers. He's going to circle around and smash into both of these units of archers. Very well done there. 
Roman General doing what he needs to do. Oh, that was not a good charge. Keep going, though. Smash through those Cretans. Uh, throw those Celtics. Get into the second unit of Celtics right there. Very well done by Rome. Good job. Hitting the gap. He waited for the Pikes to get up there. So, okay. Not a bad idea. He waited for the Pikes. But you got to keep moving now. Now that the General's through, he's got to continue moving them through. Do damage. Do damage everywhere he can. Looks like he's going to come around this way. Okay. Yeah, you got the Osworn General chasing you. Roman General's going to come around this way. Very well done. 66 kills so far. And he's about to surround into the back of this unit of Slingers. who's only have 92 kills. They definitely still have ammo left. There you go. Good charge there. Gonna get rid of another unit. 102 kills for these slingers, but they are gonna get removed. So Roman General now, another 30 kills right there. Oh he's gonna have to pull back, but now the Osworn gonna get shot in the back. There you go. Cretan archers doing their job, shooting this Osworn general in the back. I mean they could definitely the general could absolutely come this way now if he wanted to. Could come around, smash through all this. There's another retreating path for him to come back that way. But nope, they're going to come back over here. Finish off this unit of Celtic Bowman. Very well done by Rome. Good job there. Good, good job. Balance of power is definitely in favor of the attackers now. I think that general breaking through definitely helped out in that in that uh, area. Oswan general is going to continue pulling back. And now the Roman general is going to come down over here. Help break through these Oswan. This is going to be a massive charge. I want to watch this one. Yeah, you go, Rome. Good job. Good charge. Definitely a very solid charge. 159 kills now. Cretan archers now making their way around. Pikes are now making their way forward. I'm going to try and get into these Osworn. Javelin volley from the Osworn general, though, for Bowie Eye. Gonna get into these Cretans. I mean, I think the Cretans are out of ammunition. Kind of obviously just threw them into melee like that. But here comes those African pikemen. Pushing their way forward. Understood. Getting into this Osworn General. Still seven minutes left in this replay though, guys. A lot of stuff can still possibly happen here in seven minutes. Still have the Heroic Noble General over here. Another unit of Chosen Swordband and Heroic Nobles over here. Taking on the Macedon Shieldbearer General and another unit of Shieldbearers. Chosen Swordband now starting to waver, though. Celtic Bowman continuing getting shots off. That Roman General still rumbling around back here. Let's see, up to 163 kills now. Got a couple of good rear charges. Definitely knocked this Osworn down. Yeah, pretty good job there. Praetorian 135. Sam, the, oh, sorry, Noble Fighters 89 kills there. Is he coming back? Yeah, he's probably just going to keep charging. I would just keep charging into the back of those Osworn. Just try and help break this open. Another big charge in it. There they go. Osworn starting to waver. Very well done. 164 kills now. That Osworn's probably going to break. Maybe. Actually, I mean, there's still 42 of them. They might not. They might not break. Osworn are tough. Speaking of tough, Osworn generally here still in the middle. 154 kills. Slaughtering himself some of the Cretan archers there. That first unit of pikes actually ran away. Pike unit pulling away from fighting, and they're actually getting, are they getting shot? Who's getting shot? Wait a second. Who was just getting shot? They're getting shot by what? Britain Slingers are firing at them? Looked like it, actually. Bowie Eye not, not done. Bowie Eye is not done. He's still pressing out. Helping these heroic nobles against the Praetorian Guard. Here comes a unit of Cretan archers getting volleyed, but, oh, that general's coming. Bye bye. Oh my god. Like a railroad right there. Smashing charge by the general. 184 kills now. This Mastodon's just kind of like left over here by himself right now. I mean, it's a shield bearer general. He's taking on two pretty beaten up units of heroic nobles. But that unit of slingers is still here. Oh, I'm sorry, Celtic Bowman. They still have ammo, they are firing. 
That's a lot of shield bearers on this unit, though. And they're all facing that direction, so they're not even really getting kills. Four and a half minutes left. What could possibly be... I'm going to fast forward now. Unless the defenders have stuff here? Back in the town center? What could possibly be four and a half minutes worth of stuff? The attackers are going to make their way in towards the town center. Is it just the... These last couple of units for the defenders here? I mean, he's got his O-Sworn General making their way. I think the attack... Uh, yeah, I'm going to say the attackers have this. I don't really see anything left here. If this gets down to like the two and a half minute mark and nothing from the defenders aside of the O-Sworn General shows up, then... Uh, Yeah, this is over. That's all that's all that's left. This unit of Osworn there and that Celtic Bowman over there. And whatever this whatever's still fighting over here, the heroic noble general. Not really I mean he's getting some kills on the shield bearers, but he's obviously not gonna win that fight. So this is definitely a defender's victory. I mean an attacker's victory, I should say. Very well done. I mean it's a hard fought fight though. It's definitely a very hard fought fight. You can see bodies pretty much strewn all about by the front lines here. Bodies up on the walls, bodies by the gates. Again, that Kush push out here. I wonder if that ended up playing against them. That full army Kush sally out. Not always a good idea to sally out like that. Okay, heroic noble general just shattered the Celtic bowmen over here. Routing, they're on their way out. Praetorian guard making their way over 156 kills. So we have the Osworn general left. Yeah, we're just gonna. I'm just going to fast forward the rest of this here. Oswan General now not looking good. We've got some noble fighters, African pikemen, the Roman General coming down. Going to try and block off the uh, Oswan General, but now they got caught. So here comes the African pikemen. They're going to make their way down. Just stabby stab into the side of the Oswan there. Tough fight. Very, very tough fight. Good job by the attackers, though. But again, I don't know that, that, that uh, sometimes... Sally outs don't usually, sometimes they don't work. Sometimes they don't do what you need them to do. I'll leave it at that. But all right, we did have, uh, the battle was sent in by Ellis, who was commanding Carthage. So very, very much thanks for sending the replay in. I appreciated it very much. Uh, his general 123 kills was lost very early on in the battle, though. So, but he was still able to uh, muster up the guts to be able to hold the lines, to be able to continue on. 2,232 kills, so not too bad there. 174 on the Balearic Slingers. His archers did a pretty solid job. 129, 103, 163. Uh, Pikes didn't really get a whole lot. They were responsible for breaking a couple of units, but not really a whole lot of kills. Libyan Infantry, 140, 138, 139, 166. His Noble Fighters, 143. Uh, Sam Knights, 199, 87. And his Sacred Band there with only 30 kills. We deal with Rome here, 2,722. Most kills in the match by Rome. Very, very nice very good to see. Uh, he actually had more kills than deaths, so there you go. Pretty solid. Two more kills than he had the amount of deployed, so <laughs> even better. Uh, 193 on that general. Yeah, once that Roman general got through, that was, I'm going to say that was pretty much the end there. Uh, Associated Equites pretty much just got destroyed. Uh, Auxiliary Syrian Archers, 178 there, 94 there. Cohort, 108, 110, 206, 238. Praetorian Guard, 199, 131, 159. 119, 152, and his Princopes even did very, very well. 218, 210, 207. That, I mean, the fourth unit, I think they got hit up pretty early uh, in that fight against Kush outside, but these three units of Princopes did very, very good. Getting on to the defenders, we have Dodgy Gob here, 1662. Oh, wait, we have Mastodon. I got to cover Mastodon. <laughs> Toward Mastodon here with 2,531 kills. Shieldbearer General, 76 kills. Ballista, 105. Tarantine Cavalry 156, his archers 110, 112, the uh, Royal, I'm sorry, Peltast 134, Royal Peltast 238, 219, very well done with those boys. Shieldbearers 239, 183, Thorax Swordsman 112, 138, 182, and his Thoreos there with 95. Now we can get on to Kush with the defenders. Dodgy Gob here, his general 83 kills. Archers, really good job, 230, 116, 179, 103. Uh, it's Kushite Slave Infantry, a lot of money dumped into them. A lot of money dumped into them. 
Uh, Shota Warriors 100, 160. Yeah, that's going to be about it there. 1662. Again, Jedi Revan with Iceni 2130. His Heroic Noble General, 352 kills. Very, very well done over there. And they were fighting some pretty tough units. They were fighting the Royal Peltasts over there. I think they were fighting some of the, uh, the Shield Bearers over there as well. So very solid kills by the Heroic Nobles. Ambushers didn't really get a whole lot of kills. They were able to push the Roman Ballistic Crew away, though. Uh, Slingers, 128, 123, 96. Chosen Sword Band, 120, 138, 139, 120. Rogue Nobles, 184, 108, uh, 215. Painted Ones, not a whole lot of kills. And Regular Sword Band, not a whole lot of kills. And then finally, we have Pray to Me here with Bowie the most kills for the Defenders, 2,437. Osborn General, 206. The Scorpion, 132, even though he had a wall artillery as well. I don't know. Again, I don't know what the rules were. Uh, is Celtic Bowman not a whole lot of kills? One unit there with 99 kills, but they did get the kills that sometimes were needed, I guess. Uh, Celtic Warriors 104, top unit there. Osworn 217, 170, 131. Sword Followers 110, 201, 213, 141. Uh, sorry, 147, 121, and 139. But all right, guys, there you go. Hopefully you guys did have a uh, nice beverage, nice comfortable place to sit, maybe a little snack. It was a pretty long battle, so. But all right, guys, hope you, hopefully you did enjoy. Again, if you did, make sure to hit that like button, drop a comment down below, share the content around, and again, if you are new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe. Uh, check the links in the description below. Ellington, Gorm, Bearded Warman, the other three Baxi Generals, Hungry Wolves Discord, my Patreon is down there. Memberships, there's a link for the memberships if you'd like to become a member for my channel to be able to support me through that as well. But all right, guys, have a good rest of your day. Stay safe, and as always, until the next one.